Eight probation officers are now on leave after what the L.A. County Probation Department is calling a significant incident at Los Padrinos Juvenile Hall in Downey. Yeah, the I-Team has been following new developments. Investigative reporter Lolita Lopez is here with more on what she's learning. Lolita. Michael and Caroline, yes, exactly. Now, before that incident that led to the probation officers being put on leave came to light yesterday, we actually reported on an Oversight Commission's inspections and findings after visits to Los Padrinos. And today, we have learned that the probation department chief found out about that, quote, significant incident last week. The L.A. County Probation Department says alleged misconduct in a significant incident between eight probation officers and some young people housed inside Los Padrinos Juvenile Hall happened in December. The chief of the department relaying in a written statement that upon learning of the incident, he immediately placed the eight officers on ordered absence until further notice. Los Padrinos, which houses more than 200 young people, reopened last summer after a state board closed down Central and Barry J. Nidoff Juvenile Halls finding them unsuitable to house youth. Los Padrinos has not been without issues since that reopening, including this major disturbance last July, only weeks into moving youth into the hall. 13 young people were part of that incident, which included an attack on staff at Los Padrinos. One of those involved briefly escaped through a window, according to the probation department. What comes to mind now is this recent release from the chief about an incident that occurred in December where eight probation officers were asked to kind of their posts. December's incident and the officers put on leave was briefly discussed at this scheduled meeting of the Probation Oversight Commission today. The discussion at the time surrounded how certain incidents in the hall involving staff are investigated. Can't comment specifically on that incident, but in keeping the release statement, from the department, it was referred and it's being handled by the sheriff's department. This meeting follows the release of a report detailing inspections and findings from visits to various county juvenile facilities. As we reported last week, the report conducted by the Probation Oversight Commission cites a culture that antagonizes and incites violence at Los Padrinos. Los Padrinos remains under watch by the Board of State and Community Corrections, having until yesterday to complete non-compliance items. The BSCC tells the I-Team they received this corrective plan from the probation department, which details updates the department says it has made, including developing new policies, adding training for staff, and working to increase staff at Los Padrinos. They would not comment on the incident in December, but tell the I-Team, we will be verifying compliance and completion of corrective action during an on-site inspection next week. Now, the probation department would not comment further or answer additional questions that we posed to them today. A sheriff's department spokesperson says they have been investigating since January 8th, and they're reviewing evidence to determine the extent of this alleged misconduct. We also reached out to the probation officers union, and they're working on a response as soon as we get it. We will share it with you.